Don't make your Jeep Gladiator look ridiculous. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Don't make your Jeep Gladiator look ridiculous. Don't go crazy with mods, little additions, big additions, things that make it look just tacky. You know, the reason I say that, I'm out driving today, right? This just happened today. And I pull up to a stoplight and I see in the mirror beside me a, a Gladiator coming and I'm excited. I love Gladiators and always uh, like to see them out in the wild, you know? And uh, I'm looking in my mirror and I see this blue. It's what, the hydro blue, I guess. Jeep Gladiator pulling up and I can see they've done some mods and things because they've got extra blue on the truck, right? And I'm like, wow, that could be cool. Let's check that out because I'm into mods and stuff. I mean, I have some extra green on my truck, you know, the tow hooks in the front and the back and the badge, all that kind of stuff. So as he's getting closer to me, uh, I start to notice a lot of blue on the truck, right? He's changed the grill, I don't, or not the grill, but the, the bumper. And it has one of those bars across the front, you know, to guard the grill, I guess. And I see that the, the bumper guard thing, the, the bar, is painted blue. But it's not the same color as the truck. It's, a, it's like a, a sky blue, kind of, a lighter blue. And I'm like, ah, yeah, I don't care for that. But whatever, you do your own thing, you know? It's it's a preference, a personal preference thing. Not my thing. So as he pulls up beside me, he's got a, a sport bar on it, which is cool on the Gladiator, but it's blue. And it's painted the same blue as what is on the front bumper, which doesn't match the truck. And it doesn't really complement the truck either. Again, in my opinion, you know. So whatever, and then I look down and I see aftermarket wheels and tires. Now, the tires look good. They're a nice meaty tire, fit the truck well, look pretty nice. But the wheels, the wheels are completely painted blue. Everything is blue. And again, it's the same color as the sport bar and the, the bar that goes across the, the bumper on the front right and I'm like you know something's just off about this first of all it's too much blue it's like they just wanted to have this blue blob driving down the road right that's kind of what it looks like but it's too much blue you know you have to have accent colors and you have to have accent colors that go with you know what you're trying to, to do to accomplish they have to be complementary right so the color he had, and I'm sure that was the idea, you know, the thinking was, well, I can put these different blues on there and there'll be accent colors and complement, you know, the rest of the, the Jeep, the other colors, the main color. But it just wasn't getting it, man. And I'm like, geez, you know, are you, are you colorblind? Am, am I colorblind? Maybe I'm just not seeing it. But the more I look at it, I'm thinking, nah, this, this can't be just me, right? It's, it can't be. So I think, you know, you have to be careful when you're doing things like that. If you, if you care and you want something that is going to come out looking good, I think, you know. And I've been guilty of this myself. There are some things I've done over the past, you know, I've added some complimentary colors. You know, I started out on this Jeep with that kind of uh, more matte green that I had on my uh, Gobi Jeep, and it went well with that. You know, Gobi color, kind of a matte, kind of satin green, and it looked well, or it looked good, I should say. And then when I got this white Jeep, I thought, well, I can just carry through with that same idea, and we'll put that kind of satin green on here, and and it should all be good. Not so. You know, this color, this, and it is just white, right? You'd think anything goes with white, but that's not necessarily true. This white, they call it brilliant white for a reason, I guess. It's a bright, in-your-face, popping white. 
and when you put accent colors along with this color of white, they have to be bold. They can't really be muted because if they're muted, they kind of wash out or are overpowered by just white. You would never think that, right? I mean, it's white. What can overpower white? Uh, or what can white overpower, I should say? Um, nothing, but that's not true. So I had put that, that green on and the badge and then the, the tow hooks on the front. And you all let me know that, of course, and I appreciate it, that it didn't just, it didn't quite match right. You know, it didn't, it didn't complement the white. So I changed it. I could see that myself. You know, I, while I didn't think it was horrible, there was just something a, a bit off. You know, it just didn't mesh well with this brilliant white color. So I wanted to carry through with the green. I like the green on here and it's something a little bit different. You know, I didn't want to go red because then you're kind of emulating or copying the, the Rubicon red. And I didn't want to go orange because, you know, then you're kind of copying the Mojave. So I, I wanted the green. Uh, for I'll tell you the truth for a moment, I thought about putting blue on it. Uh, and that was to kind of tie it in to the, the Tacoma that I have, the Voodoo Blue. I thought about using Voodoo Blue. I have extra paint. I could have painted everything Voodoo Blue, you know, the little accent things. But it just didn't feel right. It just didn't seem to go right, to mesh up well with the brilliant white. I thought it would look tacky. So that's why I didn't do that. The green, on the other hand, I think goes very, very well. The bright green, the brighter green that I have on here now. It's not uh, it's not like a neon green. You've probably seen it in the videos. If you haven't, check it out, or maybe in the thumbnail I'll put up, you can see the green I'm talking about. But I think it's just right with this color. And really, I'm a tri-color, I guess, or maybe a quad color. And that is the brilliant white, black, green, and unfortunately, there's still some chrome bits on here or silver bits, I guess, in the form of, you know, the, the backs of the lights, you know, the mirrors and the lights, if you will, and the, uh, some of the bolts here or there or the, the brakes you can see through and the brakes, of course, are silver because that's the way they are. Can't really do much about that. Could paint the calipers, I guess. Um, but if I did that, no, I would not paint them green. I think that would be too much. And that's the other thing. You have to be careful that you don't overdo it. You know, sometimes a little more subtle is better, right? You don't want to have too much of a good thing. And you have to be careful, I think, like the guy with the blue on his gladiator. He just had too much. And I'm not sure it was really a good thing ever to begin with anyway. The color just didn't complement the blue, the hydro blue that his Jeep is. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever done that. Have you ever gone overboard uh, with mods or, or something like that, taking a look yourself and thought, you know, that's kind of tacky. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have another channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma in Voodoo Blue. Check it out. If you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.